Hello YouTube, this is the Mag 94 here, and I'm bringing you another episode of my Pokemon Emerald playthrough. Now, last time we ended it off, I was inside Rustboro City. Let's go. Okay. So, first thing you want to do is get cut. That's the first thing I always do when I get here. There it is. <clears throat> I mean, you know, you get this after, but, you know, I mean, it's right next to the Pokemon Center. Might as well get it. And at this point in time, if a Pokemon can learn it, like Trico, um, I suggest you do teach it to him because it's much better than Tackle by, I think, 25 points, maybe? No, 15 points, 15. So, let's my party real quick. Okay, so. Okay, so. Let's go battle this guy down here. I might get to the gym today. Um. I might do the gym battle in a separate video. I mean, it, well, it'll only take a couple of minutes because I have two grass and a water types. Okay. You know, I don't think this game actually has a six-party Magikarp guy. <clears throat> there's a guy with three Magikarp. And I know there's a guy with two Magikarp and a Tentacool, but I don't think there's a guy with six Magikarp in this game. I find it kind of weird. And I don't know if there's one in, uh... I know there's one in, uh, Diamond and Pearl. I think there's one in, um, Generation 2, but I don't think there's one in this game. And Generation 1, there definitely is. And in Generation 5, there was no Magikarp, um, well, as of Black and White, there wasn't, but Ma Black and White 2, I think, you can get them naturally. You know, I really don't know. I haven't really played through all the way through that game yet. I'm working on it. <clears throat> Well, this guy had three magic card. I mean, it at this point, it why do they keep doing that? At, at this point, magic card. I mean, they don't give terrible experience. <clears throat> this lady gives you a Chesterberry, which I don't really think is that big of a deal because I think this is a Chesterberry. Oh, Lepa. Yeah, Lepa berries. They can be very helpful because they restore ten PP. So like, if you're doing a um. Like a no Pokemon Center run or something, they can be really useful because you find those this early on in the game. No, I don't want to paint. Okay, there we go. Now, this has always bothered me. Now, I know that people, like, apparently all the dropped items that you find around are items that have been dropped by trainers, but I don't know why a trainer would walk back here, drop an item, and then leave. And it'd be an ex-defend of all things. I mean, I guess you could say they dropped it there because... Because that's why... Because there was another, like, a better item there. But why would there be a better item there? Why would someone drop a better item than an ex-defend? Just right there. I, I just don't understand that. I might be thinking a little too, you know, too much about this. But, oh well. Pokemon Trainer School. Teach you anything you want about Pokemon. That's Scott. Scott in here? Is he? Yeah, it is. The Stalker. <laughs> Don't wait for I'm back in Tobruk Woods. Petalburg, let me introduce myself. My name is Scott. I've been traveling everywhere in search for outstanding tra trainers, and you're at a Pokemon school. Why? More specifically, I've been looking for Pokemon battle experts. <clears throat> so what brings you to the school? Are you a, po are you a trainer, too? First thing you uh, uh, cut, remember correctly, someone in this town has cut already got that. You know, considering this is the place where he actually like, introduces himself, why would they put him here? You think they put him, like, in a more, like, in a place where you're guaranteed you have to go? Because he, I think he only introduces himself as Scott here, and then it shows his name as being Scott and all the other, th all the other places you find him in, so, I mean... 
if you didn't if you didn't like find him here, you wouldn't know his name is Scott. Oh well. This guy after a lecture. Well, kind of a lecture. I don't know what he. I don't really know what he does there. Um. D did he whack him with his quick claw? I think that's what has happened. Because he said students that don't study will get a taste of my quick claw. Does that mean like he scratched him with his quick claw and told him to get back to work? I'm really confused. <laughs> okay, so. Let's see, what's in this house? Anything in particular? Even though Pikachu or Pikachu, it seems pointless. Is that Pikachu really named Pikachu? Pikachu, Pikachu. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure we've all done that before. Like, you give a Pokemon the name that it actually has. Like, like naming a Pikachu, Pikachu. Um. I think the first time I ever played a game, I named my Trico Trico for no apparent reason. And then when it evolved, it was only Trico, and at that point, I didn't know you could change it, so, you know, I had to live... Ooh, Primer Roll. I didn't know you get that here. Um, yeah, so I had to live the whole game with a Sceptile whose name is Trico. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else that interesting in this building. Um, uh, you don't give me anything, do you? Stop walking away. You know, something I don't understand. You can stand or sit, I guess, on th on these couches in Generation 1 through 3, but you can't um, sit or stand on couches in Generation 3, on, uh, 4 through 5. Which I find kind of weird considering in the... Uh, underground passage places in Dumb and Pearl, um, the sofas is one of the, uh, is like one of the things you can get to decorate your place and you think you'd be able to, you know, sit, sit on the couch you buy. Also, you can't sit or stand on chairs either. Like, why is the even point of having these things if you can't use them? Oh, uh, this guy right here. Hello, welcome to, welcome to the Pepper household. Okay, I have a question for you. Have you ever babysat? You see, you see, my new father's so raising a child is all new to me. I have a problem. My daughter Walda. Wow, you are terrible parents. Her name is your daughter Walda. And I'm sorry for all you people out there who named Walda yet yeah, probably not. I never never heard anyone call Walda. Okay, so tell him the words. Well, cantaloupe, Phil? I don't know, I just want to say cantaloupe. First one the pop in my head. Cantaloupe. Probably spelled it wrong, but you know, it doesn't really matter. Cantaloupe. Let's see, let's go to try, shall we? Cantaloupe, cantaloupe. Hmm, she's not smelling at all. Maybe Walt is one serious child. I don't know. If you actually have to like, if there's a specific word you have to give him in order to make the daughter laugh and then he'll give you something. I've never really tried that. Like, I never looked it up or anything. Um, I might after the video is done. So went in there, went in there. Okay, here is the trading place, right? Uh, okay, so... I'll trade you my C dot for a Ralt. See, this trade actually makes sense. Because, no, but, um, because you can't find C dot in this game at this point. Um, the only way you can find him is if, if you get, after you beat the game, there's mass outbreaks. Um, but, I mean, a Ralt, which is like the rarest Pokemon in that route, the route, uh, for Petalburg. And then he's asking for a Pokemon not even in this game that really can't really do much in battle at this point. It's better, I would say it's better in the sense since the diversion exclusive. Um, it's better 
uh, than the uh, trade Ruby and Sapphire. Considering that was a trade for a uh, a slack off for a Makuhita. That's just bad right there. Like, Makuhita aren't very good. Yes, they can help you in the gym. Wow. But, I mean, they don't really, like... I don't even think they learn arm thrust until level, like, past level 15. So they really can't help you that much. I mean, all they really know is tackle and knock off. So, again? So the CDOT is better in the sense that it's, a, uh, you know, uh, exclusive to Ruby and Sapphire. But either way... Either game you're playing, don't do not do that trade, no matter what. Although, Slack Off, yes, they are. They are very rare. <laughs> A little too rare. Um, yeah, so... I think they're even rarer than Ralts are, actually. Maybe, I don't know. They seem rare. Now... Same as every other, uh, same as every other, um, first gym, gym before generation 5. Yeah. You can just pass all these trainers, you don't even have to fight any of them. But, I mean, if you want experience, it's a good idea to fight them. Yeah, the battle against Roxanne should be easy. You have to break one RL level 15, but, I mean, I have two grass types and two water types. Yeah. I mean, I only have three Pokemon, but you know, you know what I'm talking about. And Water Gun should take you out. Okay. That dude's gonna die to Bullet Seed. That dude's gonna die to Water Gun. And basically rinse and repeat for the actual, for the actual gym leader. Now I highly suggest if you started started with Torchic to either level up the Torchic until it gets to a uh, Combuskin or just catch a Shroomish or a Lotad. I mean you're not you're not you know gonna die if you don't if you don't with uh if you start with um you know. Uh, Torchic. Because there's a lot of other options and you can evolve into a fighting type. So, yeah, if you wanted to just pass everyone, you just go like this. Hold on. You just go like that, walk around him. Actually, no, you don't. You just walk. That's how you actually fight him. You just walk like this, go up, around. I don't know what this is for. I'm going to anyway. Okay. Now, you always want to save for your battle of gym leader. Not like I'm going to lose, but if I do, that would be funny. <laughs> kind of surprising, I really... You know, I probably should train my Pokemon up a little more, but considering I have two grass types and a water type, I'll be fine. It's preferable you get your Pokemon around level 14 if you don't have a grass type or water type. Now, if you'd watch my... Um, Pokemon Emerald Box Battle videos, which you probably didn't. Um, I'll have explained this before, but I'll explain it again. In Ruby and Sapphire, she had only two Pokemon, a Geodude and a Nosepass. But in this game, they decided to give her an extra Geodude for some reason. You know, I, I would have given her an Aron, personally. Because, I mean, this game is really bad about giving the, giving the gym leaders uh, Generation 2 Pokemon. Generation 1 Pokemon, sorry. Like, well, Watson has a, uh, has, in R Ruby and Sapphire, he has a Magneton, a Magnemite, and a Voltorb, when you could have had an Electrike. Yeah, I would have given her an Aron. And you're dead. Critical hit didn't matter. I'm pretty sure. 20 experience. Okay. Now, Nosepass... This thing is surprisingly 
like a little too bulky for this point in the game. It's, it's kind of crazy, really. I think it's level 15? Yeah. It's good to get some kind of status on it. Um, get some kind of residual damage. Like Leaf Seed. Okay, they didn't do too much. A 3 hit KO about. Oh, well, maybe 4 after the Leaf Seed. Okay, Hard won't really help considering the Leaf Seed in this game is a special attack. Wow, critical hit. See, like, super effective hits aren't really doing anything right now. If I can get... Oh, uh, wait. Orenberry. Forgot about that. It's, okay, Orenberry. She also has... I think it's only one super potion, but it might be two. Or is it just a regular potion? I would think it would be a super potion. So, yeah, Orenberry didn't really help much, because... If I get a five-hit KO... If I get a five-hit bullet seed, I might be able to kill it. Then don't fail me. One more. Okay, good. Four times. See, she's not very hard if you have a Shroomish and teach a bullet seed. You'll basically win, no matter what. If it's level 12 or higher. Because she leveled up two, two levels this battle, which is pretty good. Yeah, I've, I'm pretty much ditching um, CS stuff for now. You know, I've used Ludicolo before. They've just never really done much for me. So, yeah. Um, I could teach Mudkey at Rock, Rock Tomb, but... Eh, I won't. Okay. I'm gonna switch party members. Switch to you. Everyone but Daniel Boone is a girl right now. I find that kind of weird. Oh, and I also realized that Jack is totally a boy name, but I'm going to keep it like that just because it's funny. Okay, so walk this way. Get out of my way! Wait, please! Don't take my goods! Yeah. So, I now have the what, stone badge. You can't actually... I don't get why you can't check what the name of the badge is. You just have to remember it. I believe it's Stone Badge. Oh well. So, next video, I'll defeat that Team Aqua Grunt out there. I think it's the same same Grunt that you battled in Petalburg Woods. If I'm not mistaken. So, yeah. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. Bye.